In this video, we're going to take a look at the MSR Hubba Hubba NX two-man backpacking tent. That's coming up on Survival on Purpose. Welcome back to Survival on Purpose. My name is Brian. Thanks for joining me. So the folks at MSR were kind enough to send me one of their Hubba Hubba NX two-person backpacking tents so I could show it to you. And we are here in the Survival on Purpose High Tech Outdoor Studio. We're gonna take a look at that right now, if we can get it done before the sun goes down. This is gonna be one of those, let's do it for the first time together videos, on purpose, just to see how simple this thing is to set up. Now, I recommend always, always, always checking out all your gear you're gonna take out in the wild. Before you go, make sure you know how to operate it, to set it up, to use it, to whatever the case may be. But, I do think for a video like this, it is sometimes useful to, to, um, to do this together for the first time. That way we can just see how simple it really is because I haven't had a chance to practice if there's any tricky parts or anything like that. We'll just cut to the chase and do it right together. So that, again, they were kind enough to send me the tent. They also were kind enough to send me the footprint that goes with the tent. So what we're gonna do is we'll set this thing up and then we'll talk about the specs. And the sun is going down, so that'll be a good test. So let's get to doing some of that tent stuff. This first thing we'll do is we'll open up the footprint and I recommend if possible, always get a footprint for your tent because it just really does a good job of protecting the tent. And in this case, it also gives you a couple of really super lightweight setup options too. You can go ultra light, feather light with a footprint. This one comes with a built-in stuff sack, so the bag is already attached to it. And then we'll open it up. You'll notice also on the corners, it's not just a piece of nylon. This thing actually has grommets that you can set up the poles in the footprint and just use the rain fly without the tent for a really ultralight shelter setup. So we're going to go ahead and spread this out. So you can see this, the wind's blowing a little bit, so it's not, not going to make this too much of a Laurel and Hardy um, episode here. Or Three Stooges or whatever your preferred comedy team is. I could get political here, but I'm not going to. So next thing I want to show you, this thing comes in a very nice compression stuff sack. So it's got some nice little little buckles here. Open those up, and then there's a uh, drawstring mouth on it. You can open that up. So it's really big, so this is going to make it really easy to get your tent back in. I, sometimes the bags that tents come in make them really difficult. This is obviously going to be really easy. So we'll open it up and put that out of the way. First thing I want to point out is it comes with everything you need. It comes with 10 very nice aluminum tent stakes and these i mean these these are just nice stakes right off the bat uh, the poles have their own little bag with a drawstring on it which is also really good um, because it's some you may want to separate the poles and the tent and one person carry each if you're really trying to distribute your weight these poles are all hooked together so they're they're like a central hub system so and actually what they recommend doing I believe is to go ahead and stake out the uh, rain fly. So we'll go ahead and do that. We'll just push some stakes in. Man, this, this is some hard dirt here, but this will this will get us for this will get us at least for a video, right? The tents have adjustable buckles on them, so you can um, you can tighten them up and put tension on them really good once you get them staked down, which is uh, it's just a good thing. So you don't have to tie a bunch of crazy knots or whatever. You can actually hook them in and go ahead and just tension your tent out. So that's, that's pretty nice too. And they've got the holes here for the poles to go in. Now, let's spread this out. Now, let's take a look at these poles. Okay, so the poles are kind of a hub situation. So basically, you snap them all together. And when you get done, they're gonna have a, you're gonna have a self-supporting structure that's gonna be a, uh, the, the main framework for the tent. I don't know if you can see all, the, all this now, but we've got two Ys on the end with a hub in the middle. Each one of the poles has a little pin, a nice little pin here where it connects into the tent. And then the tents have the little holes that I showed you in the tabs. So we just go ahead and put these in the holes like so. And do the other side like so. And then go to the other end like so once you get these four done then you essentially everything else this thing's going to be self-supporting next step is going to be just to take these clips and clip it on and i really like that i can't stand these tents that have sleeves that you have to like a uh, slide stuff through because it just sets a real big pain in the neck for me i like to start on the sides and work my way around 
And then at the top, you got a couple of little aluminum tabs here with holes in them that you clip the uh, ridge pole on. And well, <laughs> lost that side. We better to put a little tension on it first, and then spread that out. Clip it in. Then you have two more clips here, and it gives you a pretty roomy little tent here for sure. Now what you can also do, now that you've got the uh, tent staked out, we can put the uh, corners on and just pull those tight. Okay, before we put the rain fly on, I just want to show you these doors. These are really big doors and they're um, very easy to get into. Of course, they've got the clip here, just a toggle here so you can uh, you can go ahead and fasten your door open, which is always pretty cool to have. And then really roomy in here. It's, uh, I mean, I've got enough room to lay completely out, if you can see me. And I am um, about 5'8", so we'll talk about the dimensions in a minute. But enough room for two people. Um, but I, I'm going to be honest with you. Most of the time, I consider a two-person tent really a one-person tent because... Um, for, for ultra lightweight, yeah, if you're a serious backpacker, you may, you may want to go with two, but for, for everyday camping and whatnot, this is going to be, I'm going to probably like a tent about this size for myself because that gives me room to put a little bit of stuff in here without having to leave it out here. Although it does have some really cool vestibules we're going to take a look at in just a second. So this is a um, very, very com com comfy tent. And I like the fact that it's got the uh, no leak floors and they kind of roll up on the sides. Really nice. So, well, let's put the rain fly on, then I got a couple other details I want to show you. So, to put the rain fly on, it's basically pretty simple. Just open this thing up, kind of drag it over. Now, here's something I think is pretty cool about the rain fly. Now, what's really cool is they've got these color, color coordinated clips, and it's gray and gray. The, the tabs on the poles are long enough, you can just go underneath and hook it on. And they've got little, little ridges on it to do that. And we'll go around and do the same thing on all four corners. Okay, I'll give you a little hint, first of all. It's, these things have adjustment uh, buckles on them also, so it's a good idea to go and loosen all those up while you're putting the fly on. Once you've got all the corners attached, then you can um, you can pull it down and, and adjust the tension. Okay, the next step is just to kind of go in and get everything kind of situated, and I'll just pull the tent, pull the fly back across a little bit so the seams are lined up with the uh, with the poles. Then. You want to go to the middle and you have a zipper here and inside here there's another little tab that you hook on the end of the uh, ridge pole here and that's just going to keep everything nice and, and, and together. So to uh, create a vestibule for your gear you just take the, uh, you're going to take your stake, stake out the corner here and just put it a little tighter and you can have it and then you can keep it closed if you like you can zip it closed and have a really weather weather protected area um, it's gonna not gonna stop water from running down the ground but it'll definitely keep rain from coming on it and give you somewhere to put your gear under here pretty good size too and then you can roll it up and you have a place to uh, get in and out Okay, that brings me to something else I'm going to show you, just concerning the attention to detail from the uh, MSR tent here. So this is the toggle, and you'll notice that the scot here, in this case, is a ring. It's not a just a little loop of fabric like that. A lot, a lot of tents actually just have that little loop there, and you got to try to fish the toggle through. Now that's certainly cheaper. This is, but this is certainly easier because you don't have to. You don't have to try to open that little loop of fabric. You can just, you got a nice solid plastic ring there. You can hook it through very easy. One other thing I want to show you that I think is a really great detail in this tent is at the end of the rain fly, there's a uh, little, little vent here and attached to this end, there's a little stiff, I don't know what, probably a piece of plastic in there. And it has a Velcro on both sides and you can prop it open like this and you can basically have an awning here and it helps you keep ventilation. So it gives you an opportunity, depending on how you want to open your, your vestibule, how you want to open this, to really modify 
the amount of ventilation and airflow you get in this tent. Okay, one other detail I want to show you that I think is really cool about these tents are at the overhang here where it goes into the uh, vestibule, it's actually got a rain gutter, which is just a, a, an extra piece of standing fabric up here. But when the rain comes down, instead of dripping off and getting either down into your zipper, it just helps, or, or into your whatever, it just helps channel the water down to the bottom. Just another great feature in my opinion. Okay, so it's about to get dark. The mosquitoes are getting crazy out here. So what I think I'm gonna try to do now is we'll just see how quick we can get this thing packed up and I'll show you how well it packs up and we will wrap this thing up. So what I'm gonna do is I'll put the specs on screen while I'm packing this thing up and then we'll uh, wrap this up. Here's where that great big old stuff sack comes in handy. You just tighten it up like so. Stick that in there. Take your compression straps, snap them shut, and then tighten them up. And there you have it. Ready for your next camp out. So let's talk about this real quick and wrap this up before the mosquitoes carry me away. This is a very, very nice tent. Uh, it's a two-person tent, very lightweight, under four pounds, very well made. I did want to mention that because it's self-supporting the way the frame is made, you can go very lightweight and use just the footprint and the uh, rain fly or even just the rain fly and really save weight but still have a pretty good protection from the elements. So a lot of good options and choices here. And the price on this thing is around the $300 mark and the, and the uh, footprint's around the $50 mark. So it's not a low budget tent. It's kind of one of those things where you might wince a little when you buy it, but you never, ever, ever regret it once you have it. So anyway, I'll quit rambling now over this really cool tent. That's the Hubba Hubba NX from the folks at MSR. Once again, thanks to the folks at MSR for sending me this so I can show it to you. And as always, thank you for watching Survival on Purpose. Thanks for subscribing. If you haven't done so, I put out a new video every Friday, every Saturday, a new Shrade Saturday video, and usually several others throughout the week. If you like this kind of video, please give it a big thumbs up. Let Google know you do. And as always, thank you so very much for supporting this channel by doing all your Amazon shopping through the Survival on Purpose links. I usually put links to the gear I review in the description, and you can always go to survivalonpurpose.com forward slash Amazon, and anything you buy helps support the channel. You can also help support the channel and give yourself a little treat by checking out the free one month subscription to audible.com, and you get a free audio book. Just click on the link below, and that helps you and helps support the channel. And I really appreciate it. Once again, my name's Brian. You're watching Survival on Purpose. Remember, survival's not an accident. So be prepared. I'll see you next time. One of those, uh, let's see if it's doofus proof videos. This is gonna be, this is gonna do, 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 do. I tripped over my stake. That is the hubba hubba, whatever it's called. Just a little doofus moment there. Gotcha.